Sir Ken Robinson said, creativity is the process of having an original thought that has value. And through that lens of seeing creativity, we believe in that our algebra program is well suited to asking students to think creatively, to approach problems with their own ideas and their own thoughts. And we think that that is extremely important for all of our students in whatever they do for the rest of their lives. The landscape of the workforce that our students are going to enter is going to change drastically from now until that point, eight, ten years from now, and particularly over the course of their careers. So we want to prepare our students to be able to solve open-ended questions, questions that they've never seen before. So we believe that it's important with algebra to be a very strong curriculum to prepare students for any STEM field, that they have all of the traditional skills necessary to solve the problems for those fields. But we also believe it's an opportunity for every student to develop in her critical, creative thinking, problem solving skills. The emphasis on problem solving skills adds a new level of rigor that most middle school students have not experienced. Oh, bring it on, we love it. Thank you guys. Yes. Good. Good. Yes, it's usually feeling yes. Don't drop your negative. Get it in front. Makes it easier. Oh, I guess it's either way. Yes. 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 And yes. All right. At first glance, these two problems seem similar. But the problem on the left is a basic routine question in which a student can follow a pattern. The problem on the right requires much more abstract thought. In middle school, students learn how to factor general trinomials, such as this one. At Georgetown Visitation, after we review the general trinomial, we like to increase the complexity by giving the students examples such as this one. This introduces a concept called the u-substitution, which will become very valuable when they take calculus in a few years. At Georgetown Visitation, we've developed unconventional tasks that are different than standard textbook problems. In the consultant letters, we give the students a professionally written letter as if their boss was asking them a question. The students have to consider this real life scenario and then develop an answer and then articulate their answer in a professional manner. Students in algebra make many common mistakes, so we've developed some math editor problems in which a problem and an incorrect solution are already written. The student has to cross off the wrong answer and then correct it with their own answer. I'm sure you've taken multiple choice quizzes before, but have you ever made your own multiple choice quiz? Well, this is exactly what we ask our Algebra 1 students to do with our Make a Quiz activities. We think it's much more enlightening to not only find the correct answer to a problem, but to think of reasonable, incorrect answers that someone else would make. At the beginning of a typical math lesson, the teacher asks some questions on the previous night's homework assignment. Macy, yeah. what's the first thing you want to do with this order of operations? Um, like, do the exponents that are in the parentheses. After going over the homework, the teacher will present new material on today's lesson. So, if you think about it that way, when I'm multiplying two things with the same base, their shorthand, or their shortcut is going to be to add the exponents. At this time, students are encouraged to ask questions if they need extra clarification. If you were to have two coefficients with the yes. in parentheses, <coughs> are we going to? Oh yes. Okay. I love how you anticipate. It's fine. All right. <laughs>
Students are expected to demonstrate their understanding of the information every day. One of the ways that we do this is by having the students come to the front board. The focus of middle school math classes is primarily on the process of solving various math problems. At Visitation, we greatly value both understanding how to solve each type of exercise in the textbook and how to creatively solve problems with these analytic tools. The Algebra 1 teachers have put into place a series of innovative worksheets and activities that call the students towards a deeper understanding of concepts, to see and apply math in the world around them, and to develop problem-solving abilities in all facets of their lives.